What's good with you, man? This big gift. Right now, we in the house of the Dirty Boys, man. Hot 107.9. And yo, y'all know, I ain't never tripping. I see you when I see you. To catch the whole interview, pull it up on, on thedirtyboys.com. Sorry, to splice it in and out, man. Get it right. Right now, man, though, I have to uh, bring on somebody. Let me stop the music for this. I'm going yeah, to play yeah. some, some bombs. You got to, man. Set them up in the building. Right they call E.T. with the intro. You got to set them up the right way. <laughs> Understand, though, ATL, when I tell you about this man right here, <laughs> this man that been around the world and had a Snoop Dogg say, and I, I, I. He done seen your girl. Yeah. Please, he done man. seen your girl's mama. So sure no. <laughs> Probably smashed them both. Woo! Yeah. Sauce. You Sauce. know what I'm saying? Been to Kelly and back. Yeah. Cadillacs and all that. Smoke the best Still push driving. from earth to earth. <laughs> Woo! Brought it to Atlanta first. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> wore, wore the clothes you never thought to wear. Mm, man, I Still got it. the long braided hair. Mm -hmm. Look at that girl with that dairy ass. Yeah. With no underwear underneath that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Big Gip, what up, Joe? What's going down? How What's you up, doing, bro? sir? ET, man. Hot 107, man. The Dirty Boy. Man, yeah. my yeah. first time. What's happening? What's man? going on, brother? Right. Up, I'm man? live, man. I'm live. I'm home. I'm back home, man. Yeah. Taking a little time out from LA. I still got my place out there, but hey, man, I said, man, summertime. I got to go home. I got to mm -hmm. put in some work. So I've been here, man, in the studio, man, in the studio with these boys, man. All mm -hmm. the Youngsters in the street and in the studio. Yeah. I've been getting it to them. Okay. What's so you out here working like with the um with the new artists coming up in the, in the city of the ATL. Yeah. Just, just out here working and stuff like that. Just got off tour. Just got off tour doing the Mr. Get Down tour on the West Coast side. Did L.A., San Francisco, Oakland, Oregon. Man, uh, San Diego, I was all up and down the West Coast, man. Just doing shows and stuff like that. Yeah, I was doing the first Mr. Get Down tour, man. I put out the mixtape in November, and it was the first time I ever went on the road by myself, so it was kind of great. It was a great experience. You know, I, I being uh, from California, you know, my, my image of the South it was was two, well, I say two or three major things, right? Okay. It was twerking, yeah. you had Luke and them, yeah. and then you had the rappers, and uh, that that were like lyricist yep. country. Lyricist country yep. was the outcast, the goody mobs, um, out of Atlanta. Yeah. And then if you wanted like that mixture of West Coast gangster, yeah, the drinking, you had Texas. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you had right. that going on. Yeah. I I'm gonna ask you this question, but I don't want you to answer it right now okay. because I want you to think about the response. Okay. It seems to me that since you guys. There hasn't really been that following of the lyricists, except for a couple of them. A couple of them. The B.O.B. Yeah. Scotty ATL. T.I. He's not there yet, though. He's not there yet. You can't put him on the same level. I can't put him on the same level. B.O.B. is he's traveling around the world yeah. right now. He's coming up. Okay, he's coming up. Okay. Right. Um, but it just hasn't been that many. I and I was going to ask you why, but don't answer right now. Okay. Dirty Boys, man, your dog E.T. right here. Of course, Gambino on his thing, man. DJ yeah. Tony here. Uh, uh, Big Gip checking in, man, for this famous no. fires, man. Before we get to this record, I'm going to make your, your record number one, by the way, on a Dirty Boys countdown. Oh, before, man. Before we get to it, though, bro, I had asked you a question of uh -huh. how come you think the Atlanta music scene didn't really follow that wave of lyricists that, you know, Goody Mob, Outkast, uh -huh set that trend i don't know we well, it, it came into like it was mostly like everything after that it just seemed like simple lyrics and 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 catch lines well i i think it it, it did start one one other place and and and, and that's ti it did was, with him ti was the last of the real lyricists it was. that really took this thing and took trap music and made it a a a, a, a event you know because right. he took it and he had the movie going on and and you know he he went to the Grammys. I you agree. So that, you're absolutely it, right. It stopped that tip, and I I really just feel like uh, after that I just think that a lot of people got lazy, and I also think when we lost Secure, when we, when we lost Secure, uh, that's like a gatekeeper. That was a person that really knew the that you had to have more than just rapping. There had to be skill behind it, and I just think Atlanta itself it looked easier to go the other route. Than to go the route we went, right? You know, I just think it was just easy. The individuality. Yeah, and, and, and you got to remember, it stopped after Ti. Then it became all about the individual, the ludicrouses. You know, I I, I can't say that ludicrous, tip, 
and then you went to Jeezy. The crews were extinct for a minute. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And I just really feel like uh, I don't think every, I don't think a lot of people right now are fans and are really students of the art. I think it's more fans doing music. It's more. Really I, it's, it's, it seems that really like a, love the art right, and hip hop. Right, right, so I, I, like that. That I think that's what right it there. is. And, 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 and I think social media and I think the internet, man, you gotta understand, yeah. used to be a time that we used to just just sit outside of Boss Town just to be able to look into the lobby to hope we could get in there and do something. And you know, with technology, that kids can do, you know, do it in their house and put it on the Whether internet, it sounds good or not. Whether it sounds good or not. And I just think it used to be a gate, it used to be a gatekeeper there that you had to have a certain amount of experience from the stage to the studio to everything to anybody even let you make a record. Right. And and I just thought it's not there anymore. It's like the floodgates are open. You know now you mean? can make a record from uh, MacBook. Yeah, I mean these kids walk around and they can, you know, I remember Organized Noise, Ray from Organized Noise showing me my first drum machine in 88, 87. And it was just three little, little pads. And you gotta think about now, a kid got a whole drum kit on their phone. So you gotta understand all that, all these apps. So I just think that the advantages to make it easier to do music has also taken away quality, the yeah, quality, quality of of the artists that we're getting now. ATL, keep a lot, man. It is hot on seminar. Be yeah, giving the building. Yeah,